Five getting results throughout Central Florida from handing out flowers to strangers to picking up trash. Light Orlando's Week of Love initiative is coming to an end, but not before distributing bags of groceries to families in Paramore this afternoon. News Six's Ezzy Castro was there before the bags were handed out. Volunteers with Light Orlando continue to get results. This is actually day five for them because they spent the last couple of days getting results throughout the community by giving back to a lot of residents. Now, here I actually met Jennifer Hilaire, who is part of the Desire Foundation, and you've done a lot so far, and you packed up the, these bags. Talk to me about all of this that you've done so far. Yes, uh, so today we're partner with Light Orlando, yeah. and we're also here at Interstruck. So today we're gonna be providing all of this food to families. The bags consist of rice, beans, everything you can think of. Um, anything you can make meals out of for two weeks. You know, you're partnering up with Light Orlando as well. Talk to me about that partnership. So it's always good to know somebody yeah. that you can call, always call on to help you, especially for something like this that right. benefits the community in such a powerful way. Groceries are expensive. They are. They and are. the economy is in a really bad place. So being able to provide people with groceries that they can utilize throughout the week mm -hmm. is something that's very important to us here at the Desire Foundation. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And I'm going to bring Troy Wright, who is the man of the hour, of course, <laughs> with Light Orlando. Troy. Talk to me because you guys are not stopping today. You guys are going to continue getting results. Oh, we're going to continue getting results uh, through Love Week and, and, and even into the next year. That's, that's the goal. And I know that the plans were for tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, so unfortunately we got yeah. a negative uh, weather review. And uh, with the rain coming in, we're going to move our bunk bed build, which was scheduled for tomorrow morning, to March 9th. So we okay. encourage all the volunteers to continue to sign up and, and continue to support that as we provide beds for children who sleep on on the floors throughout Orlando. Wow, and I want to give a shout out to your volunteers because there were so many this week. I met some of them on Tuesday. They were absolutely great. It's been amazing. So um, as of yesterday, we've had about 360 volunteers that have joined us in this wow. effort. We're expecting wow. another 30 or 40 today to come out. And we have signed up for the bunk bed build already that was scheduled for tomorrow. We have about 150 signed up, so. But I'm sure they will be there in March, so. And you can't miss them because they're wearing these pink shirts pink right shirt. here. You, <laughs> you miss cannot them. miss them. Thank you so, so much, Troy. You. All right. In Orlando, Ezzy Castro getting results. New 6.